Mr. Riley. Um, the statewide writing test, has some similar information as Mr. Klein. Statewide writing test in fourth grade is completed. Um, Road scores for third grade are next fall. Um, we're making a kindergarten to 12th grade reading textbook purchase this year. Implementations of the new text in 2011 and 12. Um, registration for kindergarten students for next year's beginning. We have 30 registered, there are more coming. Upcoming events in the elementary are the book fairs this week. Proud Panther Night is a new um, feature That's, uh, this week. We're doing some achievement testing in third and fourth grades. Here coming up in a couple weeks. Um, Dr. Seuss's birthday, a uh, little celebration of that that we do every year, and then there's parent teacher conferences coming up between now and next meeting. Character education, we've been doing this for several years, and all year long our elementary staff has been teaching character education. We've taught respect, responsibility, citizenship, and caring. Currently, we're emphasizing caring. Our goal is to collect a thousand uh, food items for Blue Valley Food Pantry. This will be the third year in a row we've done that. And uh, I think adding character education to our curriculum has been um, a really good addition. So. And the facilities committee has finished the first leg of its work, of its journey. Um, we've met, identified the needs, and we'll make, be making a presentation of our findings at the March board meeting. In the past, I told you April, but they wanted to do it in March and move it up since we're done. Um, we do expect a good turnout of patrons supporting our findings. After the presentation in March, it'll be up to the board to decide the next steps. And just so you know, the facilities committee will be waiting to do any further work that, if that board of education will desire. Any questions? Sure. What's Proud Panther Day? If it's new, what are you doing? Um, just a celebration, a mid-year celebration of students' accomplishments. Okay, and it's like an evening convocation? Yeah. Anybody else? I had one thing, Mr. Roy. Uh, just if you fall apart, you said average is about 30 coming in for kindergarten. Are we staying around that number? I didn't. I just, it's more curiosity than anything. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Got 30. Yeah. So there's, there's more, but I don't know where we'll be. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Roy. We'll move on to our action items. Uh, first is our minutes that the board approved the minutes of January 10th, 2011, Board of Education meeting. So moved. Second. Second. Roll call. Hi, Wayne. Yes. We didn't do discussion. Oh, we just have to make sure that there's discussion. discussion. There usually is a Any discussion from the 10th meetings? Roll call? By one? Yes. Chalkoff? Yes. Kleinschmidt? Yes. None? Yes. Oshner? Yes. Dillmeyer? Yes. Donovan? Yes. Jacobson? Hello? Yes. We'll move on to B, financial reports. That the board approved the financial report as presented. Anybody move? No. Second. Second by Shelton. Discussion? Roll call. Oshner, yes. Shelton, yes. Lightwine, yes. None, yes. Delmeyer, yes. Donovan, yes. Jacobson, yes. Kleinschmidt, yes. Lilly, yes. Action item C claims that the board approved the general funds in the amount of $166,241.81. So Second. Discussion? Roll call. Lightwine? Yes. Donovan? Yes. None? Yes. Oshner, yes. Shokoff? Yes. Elmeyer? Yes. Jacobson? Kleinschmidt? Yes. Miller? Yes. Okay. Action item D. Superintendent contract. The board move on. Be another, was it two years? It's, it's, it's for the 2012-2013 school year. Okay, the board approved the extended superintendent's contract for Mark Novell through 2012 to 2013 school year. So moved. Omar. No second. No second. Second, Homer. Dennis. Dennis. Oh, Dennis. Approved. 
Seconded. Discussion? There's no dollar in well, right now, and it's a good question, Chair. Right now, the Finance Committee has not met on negotiation of salaries. Uh, we're just approving the contract at this point. There wouldn't that, the salary wouldn't be for that year anyway. We, we haven't done the salaries for next year. That would be for 011, 12 would be yeah. the salary. We haven't done that yet. This is just a contract for 12, 13. My understanding is that the contract has to have a salary. This is to extend his contract one more year. We've always done that, rolled it over so that there's always a two-year contract. Yeah, my understanding is that it's a part of the contract compensation. Probably once we sign it, like my contract for next year, I have a contract for next year and no salary, but we haven't signed it yet. It's just been approved by the board. So. Hmm. Okay. so I guess that's where you're going with Sherry is. So my recommendation would be to table it to find out if it's, I mean, just because you haven't done it that way. <coughs> my understanding is that the contract had to be I don't, we've never done it that way. I don't think they've ever done it that way here. We're going to offer all of our teachers a contract and they won't have the salary until <coughs> negotiations are done. And no, but administrative salaries and contracts. You got a motion and second on the floor. I call for a vote. Okay. Roll call. Bill Mayer? Yes. Yeah. Bywine? Yes. Oshner? Yes. Shelkov? Yes. Yeah. Donovan? Yes. Jacobson? Yes. Kleinschmidt? Yes. None? No. Lowly? Yes. Um, next one would then be for the principal's contract, we have board uh, approved administrative contracts for Mark Brown, Jeremy Klein, Jim Rose for the 2011-2012 uh, school year. I'll second. Discussion? No objection. Any other? Roll call? Oshner, yes. Quiet Yes. Shelf Yes. Bill Yes. Donovan? Yes. Jacobson? Yes. Kleinschmidt? Yes. None? No. Nolan? Yes. Okay, let's ascend to the uh, action item F, transportation. With that, I was going to ask you. Just ask for Mr. Donovan. I was voted that. I <laughs> to be the school speaker. Good, He'll because be I'm the looking at there's three different things here, and I was like, I'm confused. Okay, well, as Mark had mentioned earlier, we met three times. Um, we, uh, we got bids from three different companies. Let's see, four different companies. Proposals. Well, four different proposals. Four different proposals, and we got three on the, the main bus, and we, and we got three on the, the big passenger buses. Um, but uh, we think we need to... Uh, as far as uh, act on the mid-stage contract. Um, and we as a committee recommend that uh, we not renew that contract uh, next year. Um, we want to thank them for the bus service for the past five years. And I would make the motion that we not renew our bus contract with mid-stage bus at the end of the current school year. Discussion? <laughs> we have one one thing on the table. Is it not encompassing all of it? Do we want to hear all of it first? Oh, this is why we don't want to do it? What's your proposal overall? I mean, can the rest of the board hear what you talked about, at least a little bit about it? I have no information in front of the other one on the table. That would be part of our discussion. That's a good point. Like, if we say mm -hmm. agrees with you, then we have something better planned, Jim? We do have something better planned. Yes, sir. We, uh, we are looking, I guess, to get back into the busing business, um, per se. We're going to we would, uh, be proposing to purchase a, uh, a, I guess for our TIKE tyke students and preschool programs, a 14-passenger <coughs> 14 14 passenger wheelchair-accessible bus 
most of that, all except like $2,000, uh, we'll be able to use with our uh, what kind of is, uh, stimulus money, stimulus IDEA money. stimulus money. And then we're going to, we're going to propose that uh, we buy two new 65 passenger buses uh, and, uh, to, and pay for that in combination of general fund and depreciation fund money, possibly looking at leasing as well. Um, and then uh, we need six buses overall, four for route, the big buses, and two for, for backups. And so we look at buying four other uh, used buses. <coughs> First question is, I guess, that I've got, and this is, is this the part we're going to talk about who's going to be supervising? The, the bus barn, the, the folks there, who's maintenance, who's... I think these, there's way too many issues. I think you need to take what the committee's work done in order at time. Okay. You can always vote no if you don't like the work they've done, but I think they've worked hard at it. And the first decision is, are we going to have our own buses okay. or are we going to contract? Okay. I mean, that's the first decision and that's the first motion that Jim made and there was a second and so have all the discussion you want but there's a motion on the floor so um, unless Jim retracts his motion you know the discussion needs to be on that motion okay so the motion that's what I'm trying to figure out there, there's so much here that's why I was asked to motion I think Jim you want to repeat the motion for that uh, we don't renew our contract if we get you know we take our bus and That's After possible. this year, okay. who's who's second? With that? Randy. The Randy second. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, my opinion. I guess if we don't do this, and yeah, because we're going to have to figure out how we're going to do it. But, but I believe that's a, the starting point is to not do it with this day. So there's our first motion. Is <clears throat> we're getting back into blessing. So from there, folks, roll call. Done. Yes. Clenchman? Yes. Delmeyer? Yes. Jacobson? Yes. Blackwood? Yes. None? Same. Yes. Oshner? Yes. Shokoff? Yes. Maloli? Yes. Okay. <coughs> Next part. Okay. I know, I know, that's all I'm, trying, I'm trying to keep myself just straight. Just trying to keep this. you organized. <laughs> okay, so then we, we talked about uh, busing as far as uh, I guess the next one would be the the transportation bus, the 14 bus, uh, 14 passenger bus, and we received approval from the Department of Education to use stimulus funds to purchase the bus, all uh, fifty thousand dollars, if I remember right. Um, the 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 bus that we uh, chose to go with or to propose would be a uh, 2011 Thomas 14 passenger. Many to her bus, and it was $54,370. And so then, with then $2,400 and, uh, or no, excuse me, $2,370 would come from, you know, the general fund or another way. So that would allow us to, if we needed to utilize the bus for non tight things, we'd gain more over the years, but we'd be able to use it. So, I would make a motion that we purchase the 2011 Thomas 14 passenger mini tour bus at a price of $54,000. I'll second that. Second, Mr. Bradley. Second. Second. Discussion? I'll explain a little bit more. Currently, Mid States provides a mini bus and a van to do our preschool transportation, all of our age three and four. So we have a van. We purchased two new vans this past year and so we would add the minibus and that would take care of that part of our transportation with the preschool kids. We have bus cost $54,370. We have $52,000 in stimulus money. They may give us more too. I got a letter from her today saying we may qualify for more. Part of the things if you can use it for other things besides preschool if you pay a little bit out of regular funds. For example, if we pay 5% of the bus out of non-special ed funds, 